I was watching the Pivot Podcast. Florida Gators, Jags Goat, Fred Taylor, Ryan Clark, uh, Channing Crowder's on it. They had Jamarcus Russell on for a podcast, and I, I clicked on it. I watched the whole thing. It's rare that someone like Jamarcus Russell talks publicly. They talked about his football career, early beginnings, LSU, Nick Saban, all these different things. And there was a famous quote from that podcast where they asked him, well, you know, how does it feel being known and regarded as a bust? And he's like, well, as long as you make sure I'm the biggest bust, make sure that's fine by me. So I got to thinking, man. I was like, well, we're using these retro rosters in Madden. We have the 08 rosters from that 07 draft class. And surprisingly enough, Jamarcus Russell was an 82 overall, which makes sense. He was hyped. As much as that was overall, looking back, a weak quarterback class. You had Jamarcus Russell, you had Brady Quinn, Kevin Kolb. Like, Jamarcus Russell had one of the greatest pro days in history. Six foot five, 265 pounds, a rookie, 99 throw power. Really, a lot of similarities to Jamarcus Russell as a prospect that you have really for Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. And Josh Allen was put in a terrific situation. Good stability, good quarterback developers. Team was able to build that roster and put Josh Allen in a place to succeed. That never happened with Jamarcus Russell. Our head coach at the time, we got Lane Kiffin, who's one of the more polarizing coaches right now in college football, has really got a redemption himself. He's regarded as one of the best offensive minds in college football. So just what if we take over from Jamarcus Russell's rookie season. We're going to go on. I'm not going to draft all pro players every year. But with the idea of, like, the Raiders were a competent organization. We weren't going to be drafting Darius Hayward Bay. We weren't going to be drafting, you know, Bruce Campbell. Some of these high price investments that were the Al Davis pick just completely destroying this organization for I don't even know how long. They're still reeling, right? They're hoping this year with Devontae Adams, Derek Carr, it could finally, you know, get this Raiders team right. But that's what I want to do here today. I want to take over with this 82 rookie Jamarcus Russell. We're gonna, I don't know how many years it's going to be. I, I think we go to the wheels fall off. We might be able to go to present day. Jamarcus Russell's 36. That's nothing in today's quarterback landscape. You can be 36 and still a bona fide starter. So we are going to rebuild the career of Jamarcus Russell and answer the question, what if Jamarcus Russell panned out? What if the dominant freak of nature, one of one type quarterback prospect that we saw at LSU throwing bombs to Dwayne Bowe? What if he took the league over by storm and was able to be the franchise quarterback for the Oakland Raiders. That is what we are going to find out today. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to see any other videos like this, where maybe we go with a bust and kind of redo their career using these retro rosters, let me know all that good stuff for the algorithm. And let's get into year number one of this video. Oh my God, I hate that I did the cheesy YouTuber thing, but you got to do it. Let's get into year one man of Jamarcus Russell here in his rookie season with the Oakland Raiders. So the roster around him is is interesting. It's actually not brutal, but most of the players are near the end of their prime. Like you look at the offensive line, like Robert Gallery is the youngest, has that depth rate. Another guy that could be regarded as a big bust considering the players they drafted after, like what went after Robert Gallery. But uh, we got him, we got Zach Miller, who actually pulled in a 78 overall rating as a rookie, which I was surprising. All of these ratings are like 96% accurate to uh, the Madden 08 file, the starting point here for the Raiders. But, like, you got 83, 82, and a running backs are all in the 30s. They're going to regress. They're going to retire. Got, don't have really much at wide receiver. Joey Porter's our guy. I think Jerry Porter, did he come from... Uh, was this when he came from... I, I could be off, but I remember he, he was really good for the Packers. And then he got, like, beat up. as like a, He came in as, like, a prize free agent for the Raiders. Got beat up and attacked... I could be, I don't want to go much further because I could be remembering the players wrong. It was just bizarre. Simply like, it only could happen to a team that was cursed like the Raiders were at that time. But offensively, we do have Zach Miller 78 for a rookie, which is good. And the rest of the offense is going to need a lot of work. Justin Fargus, Michael Bush there. But, you know, again, a lot of work. You can see how someone like Jamarcus Russell would struggle with this team. Absolutely. The support system is not in place. Look at the defense. Got some veterans here. Tommy Kelly was solid. We got Derek Burgess, 92, but he's 29. We got the legendary Warren Sapp, but he's 35. So two of our star players on their defensive line, they are on the way out. We got Nambi Asuma, who I'm going to try to think about it unbiasedly because he was god-awful for Philly. And, you know, is it was it him? Was it the ski? I think it was a bit of both. But he was S-tier for the Raiders, 94 with a superstar. We got Stanford Route, 75 star. Fabian Washington, 84 normal, but he's only 24. So our, I think our corners might be 
this might be a good group that we can kind of build around huff as well even though he's only normal dev still 84 uh into his second year these guys were pulling pretty crazy ratings back in madden 08 but i you know we're gonna give it to him we want to try to make a realistic starting point here for this jamarcus russell thing to work uh linebacking core you have kirk morrison stud 25 star dev 89 overall prime can to go up dev trade thomas howard maybe ahead of his time was a freak athlete at the linebacker spot 84 with a star he's only 24 so I, I really do think our linebackers generally obviously we need a left outside linebacker but our linebackers and our corners look pretty good it's probably the best spot outside of the idea that Mar jamarcus russell is a 82 star i think he's gonna be a star dev don't want to spoil it quarterback like we got that and we have corners and we have linebackers really everything else is gonna need some tlc over the next couple seasons so I, I have no idea what to expect here for year one i'm gonna hope five six seven wins taking a look at the draft class now we are using a little bit older draft classes so they're not going to be as clean as say the 10-year rebuilds that we've been doing just because there's only you know the portraits and stuff like that there's only so many that can go around we have a lot of them this is a draft class that they get Derek mcfadden out of arkansas which was a pretty damn good pick if he could have stayed healthy a little bit um but as you can see you know there's some there's some good player and then you got you know just who the, is that a little yachty or something there you know it's not it's not perfect but it's it's good enough and i think we're going to be able to have some fun here let's get into your number one all right, pretty cool. Year one, Tommy Kelly, normal dev. I actually remember him. Point in time with the Raiders. Going up to a star dev, and we'll bring it here live because we had two breakout scenarios. Second one was Sir Thomas Howard, star dev, outside linebacker, trying to go up to superstar. We absolutely crushed the Chiefs 34-7, and we got two massive dev trades on the defensive side of the ball here in year one. Terrific start. Our first extension period, very quickly. We got Robert Gallery on a three-year. I got Warren Sapp on a one-year. Stuart Schweigert. Not gonna lie, I don't really remember this guy, but he's good. 26, 83, so we got him on a four-year and new star dev pass rusher. Tommy Kelly on a three-year. And then if you're one, made the playoffs, 11 and six. Look at our team ranks, very good. Not like the Raiders in real life. Top five pretty much in everything. We won our first playoff game, 31, 21 with the Jags in the second round. The one seed Patriots. It was close, 17, 10. So at least it was a competitive game against the greatest team maybe of all time. Jamarcus Russell was third in passing yards. Touchdowns could have been better, but again, our wide receivers, he was throwing to no one. Our best weapon was our tight end. So that's a good start there for Jamarcus Russell. Um, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Zach Miller on 107. So we're getting that we're getting that Darren Waller sim cheese out of Zach Miller, which is awesome. 1,000 yards for Ronald Curry. Defensively, Kirk Morrison over 100 tackles. 12 sacks, Derek Burgess. Two picks for Michael Huff. And taking a look at the yearly awards. More so, like, did Jamarcus actually make this shortlist? He did. I did! Number 10 in the MVP race. He is also the Offensive Rookie of the Year for our quarterbacks. You know, fringe top five quarterback. And speaking of, like, what other players we could potentially do in a series like this, that might be a prime candidate right there. I said we're not going to draft like Al Davis. We don't want the Raiders to get in the trouble that they did in real life with Jamarcus Russell. But we took an Al Davis approach to this draft. How it fell to us. First round to capitalize on the 99 throw power. Much like everything going on around Josh. I get to get some wide receivers. So we got Deshaun Jackson. One of the best deep threats in NFL history. He is going to come in be our wide receiver one. Then in the second round, I was kind of going like BPA. Jamal Charles was it. This is the draft where obviously the Raiders selected Derrick McFadden. Who also was very fast. But in, you think of fast running backs, pure speed, like Jamal Charles is right up there with CJ2K, who was also in this draft class. He was off the board. So we got pure speed. Then I just kind of let the computer sim it out here. We got Chad Reinhardt, Geno Hayes, Robert James, not really familiar with that, Doug Ligurski, and Joe Lon Dunbar. But a lot of speed with those first two picks. Four extensions. We got Kirk Morrison on a massive six-year, $102 million deal. Four years for Washington. One-year deal for C, uh, for Warren Sapp. Keeping Seabass right. I actually gave him a four-year deal. He's a lifer. Cooper Carlisle on a one-year. Four years for Stanford route. So good business handling all those extensions here in year two. And year two ends, unfortunately, kind of the same way year one has ended. As we make the playoffs, we get a victory in the first round, and then we run to the Patriots, and uh, they kind of handle business. One thing of note is that the Chargers in our division went 16-1. and one. That one loss was to the Raiders, so at least we got a little bit there. We had a top 10 offense, top 5 defense. Quickly look at the stats here for Jamarcus Russell in year 2. 12th in yards with 45,000. Fifth, top 5 touchdowns, 35 touchdowns. So, I mean, we're already hitting the ground running here with Jamarcus, who is up to a 91-95 with our boost for a strong-arm quarterback. 
a uh, little bit low on the yards there for Jamar Charles, not gonna lie. Dev trait should be superstar, which it is, so plenty to build on. Deshaun Jackson is rookie season, 79 catches. Uh, where did the reception, I mean, not a bad year for Zach Miller, 8 and 10, being like 100 some catches last year. That's weird. Uh, Deshaun's dev comes out superstar as well, so glad that we, you know, those guys there are gonna be overpowered. Well, exactly what we need, the type of injection of speed and skill that we need. Uh, Warren Sapp, 17 and a half sacks, ages 1 or 16 and a half for Derek Burgess, 12 from Tommy Kelly, four picks for Huff, Washington, and Asamoah. Not too shabby. Quick look at the yearly awards. MVP went to Philip Rivers. Marcus Russell was the runner-up. That's at least worth something. Warren Sapp is Defensive Player of the Year. Jamal Charles and Deshaun Jackson, one and two in Offensive Rookie of the Year voting. So we got something here, man. As long as we don't run to the Patriots in the playoffs, we got something here. I did the respectful thing in free agency. We got Charles Woodson on a two-year deal so he can retire as a Raider. So we're here in the draft at pick 28. I have three needs. I need a wide receiver. I need a left tackle, potentially. We got Michael Orr up here, the blind side. And uh, we can look at a defensive tackle. Unfortunately, started on the back end, D-tackle. Not much value here, at least in the first round. When we look at offensive tackle, I think there's value, but it's, it's going to be for our second pick. Sure, we can pass on Orr. Britt might be gone, but Lodeholt, Vollmer... You know, trying to roll the dice so we can get one of Lodeholder Vollmer. I, I think that's going to be worth it. Considering the top wide receiver, let's just rebuild the Eagles wide receiver core. Last year, we got Deshaun Jackson. This year, we actually got the player that the, the Raiders, I thought, were going to draft this year. They ended up getting Darius Hayward Bay this season. Everyone kind of thought it was like, you know, Crabtree and Macklin. So we're going to grab Macklin. He should be bringing out actually big time speed. 94 acceleration, 92 speed, hidden dev. And uh, we're pretty much just rebuilding that Eagles wide receiver core. And our gamble worked out. Second round, pick 28. We can grab our tackle, the powerhouse, Phil Lodeholt. Thought there might have been a chance for a dev trade, but I think you should be pulling a, a pretty high rating, man, for time. Madden, like a Madden three, four, five year span. He was like one of the highest rated right tackles in the league for the Vikings. So take a look at our draft recap. Here we got Jeremy Macklin, 69 hidden dev in the first round. I mean, not too crazy. I, I, I'd expect, you know, star dev. Phil Lodeholt, 70 normal in the second round. He might actually have a chance. He's going to be a solid depth. I got Lewis Murphy, who actually was a Raider. Big time speed out of the University of Florida. 96 speed, 90 acceleration. Uh, Janelle Ellerby in the fourth round. He actually pulled a dev trait. So we got our two hidden devs for the draft, which is like kind of the quota we like to hit. Uh, I got someone named Vaughn Martin, Canadian, apparently. Colt Anderson. And then we just got, uh, we need to build up depth. We only had two wide receivers on our roster going to this draft. So we got Tyquan Underwood. Just, you know. Paying homage to Al Davis, getting a guy with 96 speed, 98 acceleration. For contract extensions, here in year three, we got Namdi Asma on a big time extension. I actually gave him a three-year deal. It's worth around 50 million bucks. Got him locked in. Derek Burgess wanted a little bit more money, but I think for two years with that rating, with the dev trait, I have no problem coming back to the table, giving him a little bit more money and getting that deal over the line. Same with Thomas Howard. Don't want to let him walk. Superstar linebacker. Just starting to get into his prime. 91 overall. He probably is going to get 99 club. At some point, we got Michael Huff. Long-term deal, we got Warren Sapp coming back on a one-year. At the end of year three, we're actually coming in live in the playoff run because of the performance here in the first round. We went 12-5, and five. we have our first divisional title. So saying Jamarcus Russell led the Raiders to an AFC West title. That's already ridiculous with itself. He also, in the wildcard round against division rival Chargers, went off five touchdowns, 263 passing yards. He is on absolute fire. Let's see if this run can continue. As long as we don't run into the Patriots, I feel optimistic. That we can go on a little bit of run here. So in the next round, we're taking on the Ravens. Fuck. Able to beat us. We have the number one offense, top five defense. Take a look at the leaders. Jamarcus up there at number three. So I think he's third in yards, tied for first in touchdowns. Third in yards, second in touchdowns. But that should be good for another dev trade increase. Uh, 12 and 17 for Jamal Charles. We have 1,300 yards. Look, again, the receptions where I expected them to be for Zach Miller. Last year was anomaly. 12 and 9 to Sean Jackson, 1,000 yards for Higgins. 8.30 for the rookie, Jeremy Macklin. Defensively, Geno Hayes, a lot of tackles. We had 17 sacks, Derek Burgess. 16 from Thomas Howard. 9.5, Tommy Kelly. 9 from Mr. Sepp. Interception numbers pretty low. Yearly awards MVP went to Tom Brady. Jamarcus Russell, runner-up. Again, he is the offensive player of the year. And we're not going to act. We're not even going to acknowledge, really, who the offensive rookie of the year is. We didn't have a chance to draft him. But, uh... He's there. Hey, uh, Derek Burgess, D lineman of the year. But, uh, you know, this is a Jamarcus Russell rebuild at the end of the day, kind of, right? Kind of, not really, but it kind of is. At least Jamarcus is popping off, and our team's doing really well. We just got to find a little bit more consistency in the playoffs. 
So as we close with the year, Jabakers Russell is up to a superstar X Factor after his offensive player of the year. I feel like, you know, outside of making him like a freak of nature, the best OP, we should make him like how he would be. Bazooka, absolutely should give him anything that's like animation based, I assumed. Uh, or like deep threat, if you will. We'll go Gutsy Scrambler. We'll throw in Gunslinger. You know what? Honestly, he is an athlete. You know, he was athletic. So, you know, we'll put on a skate bar. Just why not? So, out of the 2010 draft, here's kind of where our team is at. In terms of needs, I think offensively, we're pretty good. Don't don't really need to stress anything. But defensively, Warren Sapp retired. So, I think D-tackle. We can honestly go back-to-back D-tackle with our first couple picks. All right, we'll say this. Full disclosure, I could just take Earl Thomas is still on the board. He is the best player available on the board. But there is a little bit of a bug, if you will. We need D-Tackle. And I'll opt out of going for the cheesy Earl Thomas pick because there is a D-Tackle that shouldn't be where he is. Now, Alvin Sue is still on the board. I mean, would he ever be there at 25? No, but he's still there. We desperately need a D-Tackle. He's absolutely a Raider. Dinovic Sue is like the perfect Raider. He, he was built in a lab to be a Raider. Had to do it, man. Too good to pass up. So our draft recap. Again, we could have just went... Just ignore the fact that we got Dinovic Sue at 25. We needed to tackle We could have got Errol Thomas, who most likely would be 78, 79, X-Factor superstar. So we swapped out an elite player to just get an elite player position in need. Moving the goalpost slightly. And I'm, I'm stoked to have Dinovic Sue here. Terrence Cody, not great. The rest of the draft class is actually kind of shit. Just was trying to fill out the depth chart a little. We got Joe Webb, who I think would be a pretty fun backup quarterback to Jamarcus in this situation. But uh, it's very much just the Novak and Sue and everybody else in this draft. Year four, quick look at where our squad is. So we now have 96 X Factor, Jamarcus Russell, Jamal Charles, Deshaun Jackson are like the highlight. And you know what? Zach Miller's been actually crushing it. O line is solid. We got Jerry Macklin looking to take a bigger step in his second year in league. Defensively, we used our ability to unveil the depth trade at Novak and Sue. It is X Factor, not. Not really surprised, given the fact that he is probably the best pound-for-pound pound defensive player I've seen since I've been watching. We got Run Stuffer. Let's give him Fear Monger. Let's give him some nice abilities here as uh, we work on making him S-tier type player. Asma, 99 club. I mean, just, you know, Howard up to an X-factor. I'm expecting. We were 12-5 last year. That's our bare minimum expectations here for year four. For extension, Zach Miller is really the only big one we got to get this year, so we got him locked in on a five-year, $63 million deal. I mean, he's been a beast. All right, we're going to bring it here live here. We are in year four. We go 11-6. and six. We win our second straight AFC West title. Look at the league. Jamarcus Russell had second most passing years, only 21 passing touchdowns, though. So it's, have you ever seen that? Second most yards. Third. I'm expecting Jamarcus better have 30 touchdowns at this. Or not Jamarcus, Jamal Charles. Um... Yeah, I mean, not bad. Really weird stat line. 1,200 yards, Johnny Lee Higgins, 1,000 for Deshaun. Defensively, we got uh, 17 sacks, Thomas Howard, 13 half, Derek Burgess, three picks, Kirk Morrison. Looking at the yearly awards very quickly, our top five offense. Mark Sanchez is the MVP. Pretty weird. And then looking for our Raiders, Nadamik and Sue, Defensive Rookie of the Year. But the most important fact, outside of just Jamarcus Russell's obscure stat line, is we are in the AFC Championship game against the one team that has kicked our ass this whole rebuild. The 16-1 and Patriots. Can we make our first Super Bowl appearance here in year four? Damn it. So after swinging and missing on a couple guys in free agency, we went into the draft. I needed a guard. Uh, Cooper Carlisle's pretty much regressed down to the meet. So Rodney Hudson who you know, was probably most notably a Raider and did his had his best success as a Raider. So we decided to bring him in. He could be a right guard. That's what we're going to look for. Maybe even convert to a center at some point. Rest of the draft, I kind of just pretty much simmed it out, and uh, we didn't get much. Contract extensions, year five. We got Jamarcus Russell getting paid again. You got to remember like when he came into the league, they had the old rookie wage scale where you just pay them whatever you want. But we got him on a seven-year, $324 million deal. Hopefully, he can run that out. Maybe that's the length of this rebuild. I got Leckler on a one-year deal. I'm going to give Jamal Charles a five-year extension. Pretty much keep him for his prime peak seasons. We need to come back to the table. I can probably get him 36 mil. Get that one over the line. Uh, we're running thin, like a little thin on bucks here. Well, Burgess has been so good. We'll give him that two-year deal. He's aging like a fine wine. We got Galler on a short term. McQuesten on a short term. 
But, you know, we got Geno Hayes who's up to a superstar. Tommy Kelly. We just... When you get a $300 million quarterback contract, you're going to have to make some tough calls. I can't pay these guys. And a weird year five. We go 10-7, and seven, come second place in the division. Didn't even make the playoffs. So, um... It was just a weird year. Look, we had the 27th passing offense where we've been consistently top five, top ten for this rebuild. It's just RNG, I suppose. Jamarcus Russell, 4,000 yards, 29 touchdowns. I mean, hopefully just he's not going to start sucking now that we paid him. Uh, good year to Jamal Charles. No 1,000-yard receiver. Defensively, looks like our sacks were down 13, 11, and 10. You know, not too much. Seven picks. We finally got some interceptions, but I would much rather have a prolific passing offense than corners that get a lot of picks uh quickly looking for some raiders in the awards absolutely nothing what a waste here in year five and our draft recap for the 2012 draft we have very much in the first round an al davis selection we got bruce Irvin. we need a new pass rush we let tammy kelly go to free agency 93 speed 93 acceleration why not second round we got tremaine johnson he's 69 hidden dev tremaine johnson the second round another dev trade player which is awesome uh, we got Travis Benjamin, 96 speed, normal devs will bring a lot of speed. Compton, Sweezy, Acho. And then the seventh round, getting a Raiders pick again, kind of in the mold of the Dodomican Sioux selection. The Raiders absolutely seem like that's that would have been the team that would have took a shot on Vontez Perfect. He is 58, so a long ways to go for him to be good, but at least he has a dev trade going for him. Man, extensions. We got Deshaun on a big deal, four years, 87 mil. I got Leckler and Janikowski both on one year deals. We have like three, four million dollars remaining salary cap. Things are going to get stingy over the next season or two. For year six of our Jamarcus Russell Raiders rebuild, we go nine and eight, but we actually make the playoffs and go on a run. We're that sneaky, barely above 500 team that we beat the Titans in the first round, beat the Ravens, who are probably the Ragens and the Patriots, are like the two teams in the AFC so far in this rebuild that have given us trouble. Beat them, and then just losing to Peyton Manning and the Colts to go to the Super Bowl. We're close. Even with our really bad salary cap spot, we are... We're pretty freaking close. And as long as we keep drafting and adding nice pieces here or there, I think we find decent year to Jamarcus. Sub 4K passing yards, but 30 touchdowns, 10 picks. I'll take that big year to Jamal Charles. No 1,000-yard receivers again. I don't know what, why our offense is so bipolar, but it is. 15 and a half sacks for the ageless wonder, Derek Burgess. And Nambi Asimov, 5 picks, as he's now an X-Factor late in his NFL career. But uh, back to the drawing board for year 7. Recap from our 2013 draft. First round, we needed safety help, so I got Kenny Vaccaro, 71, hidden dev. Second round, kind of just going BPA. Another Al Davis pick. We got Marquise Goodwood to come in and be our third wide receiver. Hidden dev. I, didn't, I wasn't fully expecting a dev trade, but 98 speed, 96 acceleration. Pair that with Jerry Macklin. Pair that with Deshaun Jackson. Uh, then the rest of the draft wasn't really anything too, too special, but two hidden dev players will take it. Things aren't actually going too, too well here this season. Unfortunately, but, uh, you know, maybe we can turn it around. Extensions, we got Asma. I gave him a two-year deal. Washington on a one-year. Leckler on a one-year. Macklin's too good probably to let go at this price point, so we got him on a four-year 77 for a 25-year-old star dev who will be in the 90s before the end of this year and not. I just got a soft spot for the old leckler Janikowski connection, so as long as they keep taking one-year deals, we do it. And we got McQuestin and Rob Gallery on one-year deals. Year 7 of the Jermichael's Russell era, our worst year. Um... Our team's not in a bad spot. I think it was more just bad roll of the dice. Our defense did not perform up to level. We came 8-9. Last place in the division. Quickly, just looking at our stats, Marcus Russell was, you know, you'd like to see him be a little bit more productive there. You would have to admit, though, that once Jamar uh, you know, Jamal Charles has kind of started to establish himself, our passing numbers have gone down. 2,000 yard receivers here in Deshaun Jackson and Jeremy Macklin. Defensively, the double gets Sue absolutely dominant. 20 TFLs, 18 and a half sacks, but not much else to really hold our head up here as we close out year seven. It's not like we're not trying to get better in free agency. We just don't have a lot of money, and I usually just try to swing for one big upgrade. Last year didn't work out. This year we try to get uh, Marquise Pouncey. Also, they didn't work out, but I am going to try to be a little bit bold here in the 2014 draft. You'll see what I mean in just a second. We have traded up in the 2014 draft. A couple spots. I mean, you know, yeah. stretch this one a little bit. We gave pick 11 and our next two third round picks to get number two from the Atlanta Falcons. I guess if the Falcons didn't need the guy we're coming to get, then I, I could see why they'd want to trade down. But, uh, I mean, we could have been a little bit more genuine and tried to maybe throw in our second round pick there. But 
Give me the desperation here. We just had to do it. And uh, I, I wanted to make this happen. I just wanted to make this happen. Welcome back to Oakland, Khalil Mack. Draft recap for the 2014 draft. Our big picks were actual Raiders picks. We got Khalil Mack, 77 hidden dev after we traded up. Second round, we got Gabe Jackson at guard 69 with a hidden dev. So he's going to kick the right guard. And then we're going to slide in Rodney Hudson to center to kind of complete this offensive line. Rest of the draft, though, wasn't, you know, no studs. We got the guy that punched out Geno Smith. So we are at the beginning of the 2014 season, and um, this is where our squad's at. Jamarcus Russell, 99 X-Factor, 99 for Jamal Charles, 99 to Sean Jackson, Jerry Macklin's a 91, Goodwin is our third, so just elite speed at the wide receiver spot. 98 for Miller, we got Gallery, Gabe Jackson, Rodney Hudson, McQuistan, and Mario Henderson on the O-line, so the O-line is pretty good. High ceilings for our guys that aren't, you know, the perfect rating. Defensively, got Khalil Mack now. Coming off the edge with Bruce Irvin and Dominic Sue, Howard Morrison, Vontez Burfick make up our linebacking core. Huff, Vaccaro, Asamoa, Fabian Washington, and Trumaine Johnson are our secondary man. Absolutely should be better than the 9-8 and eight record, 8-9 eight record we've had the last two seasons. I want to see double digits. I want to see a playoff run. So for our extensions, we got Adama Sue on a five-year, $99 million deal. I got Thomas Howard. I like the three-year. He shouldn't regress too, too bad during that time. I got Fabian Washington on a two-year. Leckler on a one. Kirk Morrison on a two. Huff turned us down. He wants three. I only gave him a one-year. I think we're going to have a little bit of a transitioning period. We got Hudson locked up. I think Huff, Henderson, McQuiston, Gallery, Seabass, as much as I want to. Like, we got to... We got to make a couple tough cuts here so we can, for the betterment of this team, to close this series out. We finally did it. it took us eight seasons, but not only have we won our third divisional title going 13-4, and four, we are finally in the Super Bowl, this time taking on the 11-6 New Orleans Saints, 87 overall against our 90 overall Vegas. Let's just call them the Oakland Raiders, right? Shouldn't be the Vegas Raiders. So we had the first round bye, and then the division round, we beat the Jets 38-17. In the championship, 27-24 over the Jacksonville Jaguars, setting up a matchup against the five-seed Saints, who beat my Eagles, the Cardinals. They've done the gauntlet there, and the Packers. And Packers are a tough assignment here in this world. Before we get into it, and we're just going to sim it because I still, I don't want this save to crash. So we're not, we're just going to, you know, we'll just quick sim it. Um, how did this season come to be? Things have been inconsistent. You know, not, not a, you know, S-tier year by Jamarcus by any means. Like, there was a couple years, man, he was consistent MVP, shortlist, runner-up twice. Um, you know, our offense has evolved. I think that's a positive way to spin that. 1,000 yards for Jeremy Macklin on the defensive side of the ball. We got 17 sacks at Amkinsu, 12 and a half Thomas Howard, 11 and a half for the rookie Khalil Mack, who you know, he gonna be that X-factor, which is sensational. Three picks, Kirk Morrison, Tremaine Johnson, and a Namni Asomwa. So let's see, this is our first Super Bowl appearance. I would love to be undefeated, but we still got, I still think we got at least five more years out of Jamarcus to go, five more opportunities for us to go and win another Super Bowl. But it'd be cool just to at least get one, because that's really like one of the only things that is missing. And we get it, that wasn't even close. It was 37 13. A dominant, not even on our level. Like, you know, sometimes these, these ones are like one score, might have been a field goal. Wasn't even close. One sided ass kicking. This game was over for halftime. Jamarcus gets his Super Bowl MVP 254 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. 96 yards, two touchdowns for Jamal Charles, over 100 yards for Deshaun Jackson on the defensive side of the ball. Kirk Morrison, a sack and a pick. He actually might have got it. Uh, actually, we, there's a way. Hey, there's actually a way to see that, brother. We can go to. Uh, we can go to the old recap here, Hulk Hogan, and we can see the MVP. Did it go to Jamarcus? Could be Kirk Morgan. It was. All right. So actually, it was. So, I mean, the only thing left on our checklist now, we got the Super Bowl. I'd like to win a couple more Super Bowls. Would be cool to get that MVP for Jamarcus, but he is starting to slow down individually, uh, which, you know, it's fine. I think it's all about team success at this point. He's already up 99 X Factor. Unre I think there might have been a year or two that he was unfairly not the MVP. But we're going to keep on keeping on. Let's see if we can turn this thing now into a dynasty. The one thing about anything that we do retro rebuild, retro rosters, is that the tackle contracts are ridiculous. So we get Tyron Smith, 86, superstar, 24, 4, 5 years, 67 million. Bargain. Russell Lacoon, who we're going to kick to right tackle. We got him on a three-year for only $13 million. You know, someone's going to take advantage of it. Why not us? You're defending Super Bowl champions. 
And for our 2015 draft recap, we got Demarius Randall. Uh, I'm going to move him actually to strong safety. He was, it was either him or Jaquiski Tart, and I've drafted Tart not too long ago. I remember he was normal dev, so I was like, maybe there's a chance Randall has a hidden dev. Unjustly, you know, it didn't really catch on in the NFL. A little bit of an underwhelming selection, but he did pull a hidden dev trait, and I actually was able, the rest of the draft fairly average. I got Josh Lambeau to take over for Sebastian Janikowski here, and he is 68, has a hidden dev, so... Uh, I'll still take the two again. It's the quota. I want to get two hidden devs per draft. Got that here in 2015. Year nine extensions. I didn't really want to give Zach Miller five years at 29 years old, but he's, his base overall is so high that I think during that five years rush won't be too, too bad. Asimov and Shane Leckler on a one year. I got a three year deal for Bruce Irvin, four years for Tremaine Johnson and Vontez Perfect. Unfortunately, with all these extensions, gonna have very little playing money for this offseason. Year nine wasn't overly, you know, impressed with our record 11 and 6, third place in the division. But boy, oh boy, have we gone on yet another deep playoff run. First round, we beat the Browns 27 19. Second round, Broncos 28 24. Third, like just running through the division 33 to 19 over the one seed Chargers, setting up a Super Bowl matchup. The six seed Raiders against the four seed Chicago Bears. I mean, the Bears dominated the one seed. We dominate the one seed. So the best teams are in the Super Bowl, in my opinion. Again, we're still not far enough in the rebuild that I want to, you know, see that confetti fall. I don't want to crash. So we're just going to straight up say this, but looking to repeat as Super Bowl champions for the Vegas Raiders. We will quickly, quickly, quickly take a look at the stats here. Did you see everything that went into year nine? Good year to Jamarcus, 4,500 yards passing, 32 touchdowns, six picks. Nice year to Jamal Charles, 2,000 yard receivers in Deshaun Jackson, Marquise Goodwin. On the defensive side of the ball, my God, four picks, Kirk Morrison. We got 14 half sacks, Khalil Mack, 14 from Nadama and Sue. Just getting, you know, we're getting pressure. We can run the ball, we can throw the ball. It's exactly the type of balance you want to see. Jamarcus was number four in the MVP race. And just looking for some Raiders. Unfortunately, we had no individual awards. That doesn't matter. I would trade all those in a package deal to win a second straight Super Bowl. This time, I mean, look at it. Look at it. I mean, I'm I'm nervous because they're 10 and 7. They're an 83 overall going up against a 92 overall. They don't want to give us two straight Super Bowls. So I'll prepare for the worst. Yes. Back to back super bowls for the vegas i uh, what i would call vegas i see i got so conditioned to don't call them the old, you know the oakland raiders but the oakland raiders that's an old school score between two old school teams 21 and look at that jamarcus russell outdoing play. raiders just get or the, the bears can just never have a good quarterback regardless of the simulation it just doesn't exist um it's a low scoring game for sure. Probably someone on the defense got MVP. Thomas. I mean, we'll take a look at that. Um, really, actually, a boring game. No one went out, but we got our second Super Bowl. That's all that matters. Really, the only thing, again, on our checklist of things that we would like to achieve in a Jamarcus Russell kind of rebuild, if you will. We still haven't got that MVP. He's been close. He's been on the short list. Still doesn't have a Super Bowl MVP. That went to Thomas Howard. Who got Kirk Morrison had it the, the last year. So our linebackers just dominating for us. But back-to-back -back Super Bowl champs, John Marcus Russell, turning this Raiders team into a little bit of a dynasty. Let's run it back for year 10. D-tackle and guard were the two spots I wanted to try to improve during this draft. And I think we did exactly that. We got Kenny Clark, fell to our, fell to our lap. If you, you know, this, I mean, knew he was going to be good. 73 hidden dev. Good luck playing next to Kenny Clark. You know, Nadal can do great. Got Joe Toon in the second round. I was hoping for a dev trade. No dev there, but still a decent rating. Could challenge for some starting reps. We got Malcolm Mitchell. Brandon Shell pulling a 74. What? I just simmed out after that. Isn't it, didn't his dad, was his dad our, the guy that played for the Raiders back in the day? Either way, we'll take that every day of the week. So we're here, year 10. Jamarcus is still not regressing. My plan, if we can do it, I want to go to current deck. Like we're doing the retro rebuild. So we still got five more years, ideally, if we can push it. But here at year 10, which is our first kind of big milestone, uh, Jamarcus, 31 years old, still 99. Things are looking outstanding uh, for his stats. What are we sitting at here? I mean, we're not going to get on the big picture, but things are going to look pretty good. It will be, we'll be cool to see, though, if he does finish statistically like Hall of Fame type caliber. Uh, Jamal Charles, Deshaun Jackson, Jerry Macklin. I mean, a lot of these guys haven't changed. I'm going to go with Shell, the surprise pick of the draft. I'm going to kick him at left guard. Just kind of pull our offensive line there all together. Defensively, we got Khalil Mack, Kenny Clark, the number two, Bruce Irvin, Thomas Howard, Kirk Morrison, and Vontez Burfick for our front seven. Kenny Vaccaro went up to a superstar dev along with Demarius Randall, Fabian Washington, Nambi Asamoah, and Tremaine Johnson. So, like, look at this team. 
Definitely think we gotta get younger at corner. That's probably gonna be one of our, I think our next kind of priority, if you will. Same with wide receiver. I think we're gonna start, you know, sniffing a little bit of regression at wide out. But ultimately, you know, there's a reason why. We're back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. Let's make it three in a row here year 10. For extensions here in year 10, we got Jamal Charles in a five-year. We're gonna come back for Deshaun and get him on a four-year. I hope we don't get bit in the ass too, too bad with the regression. On those contracts, they're both 29. We have Vaccaro on a five-year, Washington on a one, Leckler on a one, Asimov on a one, Kirk Morrison on a one. So guys here trying to go the full decade plus in this rebuild. And I, I will throw another offer at Marquise Goodwin. Obviously fits the identity of the Al Davis Raiders. Uh, and he's you know, still a high ceiling. Could, could get to that 90 plateau. And we will come back to renegotiate. Make sure we can lock into Sean Jackson to that four-year deal. David versus Goliath. Year 10, we go 12 and 5, we get our fourth AFC West title, and we are back in the Super Bowl. We had one of the most dominant sim playoff scorelines I've ever seen. 38-0 over the Jets. They would be very close over the Chargers, 19-17. Handled the Dolphins in a high-scoring shootout. And now, our juggernaut team. This is a juggernaut, the dynasty. You get three, that's a dynasty. 95 overall, going up against 9-8, and 8, 80. I'm prepared for the worst. Expecting, hoping for the best. Quickly looking through our stats, because that's what always looks good. Jamarcus, 4K yard, uh, thousand yards passing, 4K thousand yards. That makes sense. 37 touchdowns, 7 picks. Good year to Jamarcus, uh, Jamal Charles, 15 and 15. Thousand yards for Marquise Goodwin. A uh, little bit, you know, not, not super pumped about the production of the rest of those wideouts. 18 and a half sacks, Khalil Mack, 16 and a half to Dominic Sue. Six picks for Kenny Vaccaro. Got himself a new contract. Look, Lane Kiffin coming up there. Top 10 coach. Uh, Jamal Charles making the MVP shortlist. Quickly looking through the AFC, seeing what we got, if we have anything. Kenny Vaccaro is DB of the year. Would love for him to play himself into an X-Factor. Even though we already have our three cap X-Factors on defense, you know, you like to just have as many as you possibly can. But a David and Goliath, more often not in Madden, David wins, right? I don't know. I don't, I've never read the Bible in my life, but it sounds like I'm pretty sure David wins. He beats Goliath. No chance. 20, you know, at, you know, at this point, at this point, honestly, we are, uh, you know, our, our team's so good, I can't be like, whoa, look how good. Our, like, we built the best team. We've drafted pretty well in hindsight, uh, but that's that's three Super Bowls. That's hard to do. That's hard to do the same because usually the best team gets fucked. You know what I'm saying? Huge uh, Jamal Charles, three touchdowns, 156 yards for Marquise Goodwin. Uh, not a lot. Our defense hasn't really... It's been our offense, which is good for a Jamarcus Russell centered type video our offense has majorly been the reason why we've uh, been winning these super bowls sure the, the the players of the the game mvp super bowl mvps a lot of stuff has gone on the defensive side of the ball but it's been our offense that's putting up big time points marquis goodwin is the super bowl mvp and that is three straight super bowls for the uh oh almost did it again three straight super bowls for the oakland raiders because we're at the end of year 10 and you never know when things crash. Let's just see where Jamarcus Russell is at. I don't know if he's cracked any of these yet, unfortunately, for yards and or touchdowns. So we're, we're still on the outside looking in for the major awards. But hopefully we can still go another four seasons. Those through 10 years, 44,000 passing yards for Jamarcus Russell. 300 touchdowns, 94 interceptions. Stud. And for our 2017 draft recap, because where our team's at... Holy shit. Okay, I made the first pick and I just simmed it up. I wanted a corner. Pick 31 to the Falcons went Trey White, which was a little bit brutal. So then I was like, all right, well, Jamal Charles is 30. Probably could help to bring another running back in. Joe Mixon getting a second chance. Came out of Oklahoma. Some issues. Seems like a Raider pick to uh, Al Davis kind of deal. So 76 hitting death for him. I just simmed it out. We got Zach Cunningham. Computer hooked us up. 75 hitting. That's usually why sim, uh, you know, simming out's not always the best because you sometimes... Get really good players like who's this guy kofi amicia don't know but he got a 74 so we'll take that but Mixon and cunningham are the bells of the ball from this 2017 draft class for our extensions this year we got jerry macklin on a four-year deal and we're just keeping the vets here thomas howard fabian washington kirk morrison and namby the vets are getting it done all on one year and a big four-year extension to gabe jackson at guard Year 11 is, um, you know, it's not unlike seasons we've seen before. We go 15-2, and two, we win another divisional title, and in the first round of the playoffs, we lose. We've kind of been able to avoid that with this team so far. It happens. When you're the best team in the league, 
You just get molly whopped in the first round of the playoffs. Dynasty ends at three Super Bowls. But, I mean, that's still pretty good. And look at Jamarcus. Out of nowhere. Out of, out, like, as soon as, as soon as we looked at the stats last year, he's like, all right, I'm going to start stat chasing here. 4,400 yards, 40. That's his best year. Year 11, he puts up his best year. He's Tom Brady at this point. 13 and 15, Jamal Charles. 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns for Macklin. 1,000 for Deshaun Jackson. On the defensive side of things, 17 sacks to Lumac, 15 Sue, 10 and a half Bruce Irvin, 5 picks Kirk Morrison. Did we get the MVP? Did at least he get his MVP that we've been looking for. And a fucking, that's the third time I think he's been a runner up in this rebuild. He's Offensive Player of the Year. He's Quarterback of the Year, Jamal Charles, Running Back of the Year. Rodney Hudson is Lineman of the Year. But unfortunately, no Super Bowl, no MVP. We go again next season. Now it's kind of the jump off point. This is going to be probably our last draft. Do we tend to go three more years to get the current day uh, that we get a player, they develop, and you know they can contribute. So I'm trading a lot. I'll give our first, our second, and our future second to move up 18 spots. Calc the math kind of where it's pretty close because there's two players that we absolutely could get right now to improve the defense. Kirk Morrison did retire. So there's now a big hole at middle linebacker. But we also really, really, really need a corner. So we have Roquan Smith, we have Jair Alexander, but I think it's time to prioritize the secondary just a little bit. So welcome to Oakland, Jair. So the draft itself doesn't go too crazy after the Jair selection. I love it though, 81 hit in depth. I got Josie Jewell in the third round at linebacker. Not great ratings, not a lot of studs here on out, but Jair is going to be a big time X-Factor player for us as uh, you know our secondary. Got to retool, man. Very old secondary. We're getting we're getting to the end of the rebuild, man. I literally have like seven hundred thousand dollars worth of cap left. We got Khalil Mack on a four year, Jamarcus for two. So that's for the that's as long as I want this rebuild to kind of go. Two more seasons. Uh, Thomas Howard on a one year, Bruce Irvin on a two year, Demarius Randall on a four year. Just don't have any money to pay the special teamers, and let's just hope Asimov goes off to retirement, so we don't have to go watch him play for somebody else. Thirty seven for a corner low. Hang him up, buddy. Year 12, and we are back in the Super Bowl. We go 12-5, and five, win another divisional title. And this has been a little bit of a run. Like Every team we face have been close to overall. We beat the Bills 33-21. They were a 90 overall team. We beat the Colts 28-20. We were pretty big favorites, and honestly, that one. Uh, beat the Steelers 31-70. So a matchup, two historic franchises. The one seed from the NFC and the Green Bay Packers. We are looking for our third, fourth, fourth. One, two, three, four. Super Bowl. Uh, take a look at the statue of Jamarcus. I love that he's like he's just aging like a fine wine. 4,900 yards, 35 touchdowns, 17 tutties for Jamal Charles. 4,000-yard receiver. Zach Miller, Macklin, Deshaun Jackson, and Goodwin. Vontez Perfect is our leading tackler. 18 sacks at all. We can sue 15 and a half from Khalil Mack. Five picks from Thomas Howard. Did Jamarcus get his MVP yet? He did not. Number six in the race, looking just for some Raiders. Rodney Hudson is line min of the year. But let's just get this Super Bowl dub here. Still got two more years. Let's, 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 let's get another like three-year period of winning three straight Super Bowls. But they're good. They're 12 and 5, 87 overall. I like I like our chances, but you never know. And we are just undefeated in freaking Super Bowls. 30 to 24, the Raiders. It was close. It was very close. MVP goes to Jamarcus Russell. So he might not have his league MVP, but he got himself his Super Bowl MVP as the Raiders with Jamarcus Russell. And this wild re-simulation have one. Like, it's Tom Brady. Jamarcus Russell is Tom Brady. Four Super Bowls. Looking at this performance here. Two, uh, 300 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Had a rushing touchdown as well. Over 100 yards for Jeremy Macklin. Sack and a half, Khalil Mack. And that's that's how it's done, man. That's how it's done. All right. Actually, I'm gonna go eat supper. I'm gonna. You guys aren't gonna notice anything. I'm gonna go eat some supper. I'll be back to finish this, and we're gonna try to get two more Super Bowls to close out Jamarcus Russell's career revival. So a quick look at our 2019 draft. We just needed a third corner. So one of the best corner available. Trayvon Mullen was on the board. Could obviously try to make that connection because he is a Raider right now. But Murphy Bunning was here. Clearly a better player. Uh, at least in this draft. So we had a 73 hidden dev to come be our third corner. And the rest of the draft, you know, just depth, guys, at this point. This is our last extension period. Thank God it's going to be tough. We got Tyron Smith and Adama Kinsu locked up. I will be able to extend Rodney Hudson as well, but there's going to be turn. I just don't have the money to play Tremaine Johnson, Vontez Perfect, Thomas Howard. 
might be able to squeeze. Yeah, no, we can't even do that. So, wheels are falling off, but that's what happens. At the end of year 13, 15 and 2 was our record. Another AFC West Championship. We were one and done in the playoffs, 31 24. It's that roll of the dice, man. The roll of the dice when you're clearly the best team and they just decide to bump you out in the first round. And you saw with the roster, man. This might be our last chance. I don't know. You know, you know what? With the decline of the talent that we're going to be losing, maybe we'll still make the playoffs as like a 10 win team. 4,400 yards, 30 touchdowns for Jamarcus Russell. Uh, pretty good one-two punch there. Jamal Charles and Joe Mixon. Macklin went for 1,100 yards. Defensively, 100 tackles for Zach Cunningham. We have 20 and a half sacks. Khalil Mack, double digits for Sue Kenny Clark, who will be leaving in free agency. Uh, and Bruce Irvin there. Three picks. Kenny Vaccaro leading the team. I don't think we're going to have any award winners. Just going to keep checking. It's only about Sam Bradford still doing his thing, man. He's, he's probably been here almost as long as... Uh, almost as long as... Uh, our guy, Jamarcus Russell. Rodney Hudson, lineman of the year, able to extend it. We're actually, we're also able to extend Thomas Howard just because I'd be cool for another player from this base roster to make it the full video. But, um, yeah, we got one more year to go, man. Let's see if we can find a way to win another Super Bowl. I will say, this is a year where I personally am offended and, and affected by there not being comp picks in franchise mode. I don't think it's like a crucial feature that needs to get added, but... You know, we'd be getting a couple third-round picks in addition to losing Johnson, Perfect, and Kenny Clark. For our final draft, our 2020 draft, I took a little bit of liberty. I went picking good players at positions that we lost. We needed an outside linebacker to start. Needed a D-tackle to start. So I got Patrick Queen in the first round, legit first-rounder. He's going to be our starting outside linebacker. Uh, Legereus Sneed was top corner. I mean, these aren't first-round talents. These guys that went a little bit later, but he's pulling a 77 in the ratings. And then in the third round, we got Raekwon Davis. I need another D-tackle play next to Dominic Sue. He actually popped with a dev trait. Legereus Sneed was a normal dev. We got Damian Lewis on the offensive line. Couple depth picks down there. But both Patrick Queen and Raekwon Davis, they're going to play. Maybe Legereus Sneed will be our slot corner. So this is it. Year four. It would be cool to go 15. I mean, we could. Yeah, no, screw it. We'll just go one more year. Our team's getting depleted at this point. Um, Jamarcus Russell, since he was a rookie. Up to now, 97. He's won a couple Super Bowls. Dominate. The, he might retire to us. Another, I don't want to risk another year. Let's just let's get his career up to current day, right? Well, the beginning of this Madden that we just had. Um, yeah, he's been amazing. It's, it's been an awesome video. This is a great way to start something that could be a nice little sub series on the channel. We got Jamal Charles, Joe Mixon, Marquise Goodwin's now our highest rated wide receiver. Deshaun Jackson, Jeremy Macklin. We got Tyron Smith, Brandon Shell, Rodney Hudson, Gabe Jackson, Russell Okun, and Zach Miller. Making up the offense defensively. Khalil Mack, Raekwon Davis, and Abba and Bruce Irvin make up our front four. Linebacker core, we got Tommy Howard, Zach Cunningham, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make Patrick Queen our right outside linebacker. I'll just fix that out of this. Vicaro and Demarius Randall make up our safety. Jair Alexander, Sean Murphy Bunting, and Legereus Sneed are our secondary. I mean, there's just there's another team. Absolutely at bottom. Like 10, 11, 12 wins, somewhere in that territory. We're gonna be competitive here in the final year of this. I don't even know what you want to call it. Career rebuild. I don't even know what I'm going to call this series. I just wanted to do something with freaking Jamarcus Russell. This is the final year of a untitled Jamarcus Russell project. And for the final year of the rebuild, of course, we're going out. At least I tried to go out on top and we get a chance to see the confetti. We go 12 and 5. We get our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th divisional title. And you know what? You, you might be like, see, that's awful convenient, bud. Last year of the rebuild... You end up going on uh, on a bit of a run, huh? You, you crushed it, man. This team absolutely crushed it. Beat the Steelers. Beat the Colts 41-35. Got our ticket. We're going to hop in, man, and get a chance to hopefully see the confetti fall. But before we do that, got to kind of do a roundup here. We'll do a roundup quickly of this season, quickly of the careers of some of the players that we've seen throughout today's video. And all to, obviously, Jamar, and he went on a great final year to buff those stats up. Pat... Pounding his stats on the finest degree was 5,000 yards passing. 41 touchdowns. 1,014 Jamal Charles. 1,000 yards for Deshaun, Macklin, and Goodwin. And the defensive side, Thomas Howard, ageless wonder. Four picks. 16 and a half sacks, Kaluma Mack. 15 and a half, Nidamik and Sue. Uh, do, dare, dare we say Jamarcus finally gets his MVP? That's the only thing we're missing. And again, probably the fourth time in this video he's been runner-up for the MVP. 
the disrespect. Let's take a look back at the career. So this is through 14 years. Well, once we finish this year, 14 years, 63,000 passing yards, 450 touchdowns to 130. That's Hall of Fame. Obviously, the Super Bowls, hoping to get his uh, fifth. Fifth? Cover a whole hand. Got 16,000 rushing yards for Jamal Charles on 184 touchdowns. I mean, Jamarcus, two, two, you know, 2,500 yards there, 27 tutties. We got 13K for Deshaun Jackson, 93 touchdowns. 12,000, 100 touchdowns, Zach Miller. 12,084 touchdowns, Jerry Macklin. 7K with 61 touchdowns for Marquise Goodwin. Defensively, I mean, Howard started before this rebuild, but 1,700 tackles is fucking insane. Uh, the sacks run 152 sacks, 203 TFLs for Nadal against Sue, 114 sacks and counting for Khalil Mack. Uh, I mean, just awesome. This, uh, this video worked out perfectly. I couldn't be happier. Uh, looking at the overall career passing records, we have Jamarcus Russell in the top 10, and I would assume he's not going to retire and would be able to. We have two Phillip Rivers here, but I, he would probably get to, you know. Just outside of top five for yards. In terms of touchdowns, also makes the list. Mark Sanchez is there. Going neck and neck. Big Ben. Jay Cutler had a hell of a career. But he goes down as an all-time great. None of those other quarterbacks have even remotely the same tier. The same area code of playoff success. But we're going to finish this video the only way you know how. We're going to go in. We're going to sit front row. And we're going to watch Jamarcus win a freaking Super Bowl. Super Bowl number five. That was the longest load in to the Super Bowl I've ever had. I'm very, I, it might crash during this freaking thing. Let's see what we can do. Opening drive. This is Justin Herbert and the Seattle Seahawks. Just to give you a little backstory here. Uh, obviously, playoff experience very much tilted the favor of the Vegas Raiders here. Uh, we get a touchdown there. Cut the lead to four. Would love to get the lead going in the second half. It's all about that big momentum. The Seahawks able to go down the field, tied up at 17. We might be able to get, oh, we almost got into field goal range there to end the first half. Second half, Seattle gets out in the front. They lay the first big blow to get the touchdown there. Our defense is playing strong. We go all the way down the field. We're going to try and tie this one up. We go for it on fourth down. Wow, they stopped us on fourth down twice, but now we have 216 to get this Super Bowl. Oh, we got to come up with Jamarcus for at least a play. Fourth and 14. We'll go four verts. We got the two minute warning. Give them a second here. Oh, Jesus. I mean, there's only one way to do this with Jamarcus Russell, right? 99 throw power. We got speed on speed on speed. Goodwin X is our best guy, even though he has no abilities. We're going to have Jamal Charles going to pass pro. Come on. We don't, we don't we really, we just need the first down. But I would love to just get the touchdown shot here. Actually, the first down is probably better because that means we can kind of keep the clock going. And he gets both feet in. Let's go. The bunny hop. Beautiful. If we get another third down, I will come in. Let's go. Third on uh, on two. Uh, I just, you know, we should be running this, but we're going to try to throw it. This is, is going to be the downfall. But I, I just got, I want to throw it. But we go to Zach Miller again. Touchdown. This game is tied. 24. I'll be extra point pending. But I think we'll make it here. Come on, let's go. No. All right. All right, bet, as the kids say. We need that Tom Savage, Hail Mary to win type play. I want to just throw it to Deshaun, bias, but we, let's see if we can get someone open here. Oh, my God. Boom! Ah! Yeah! Let's go, baby. That's what we built. You can't. Ninety-five speed is a minimum is the requirement to be a wide receiver here for the Oakland Raiders. That's what happens, man. You give me a quarterback of Jamarcus Russell's S-tier athletic skill set. I'm just gonna build wide receivers. To, I'm, we're just gonna we're just gonna outrun. We're gonna be attracting. We're gonna be like Matt Rule era Baylor Bears. Straight up, I don't care what your star is. I don't care if you're five star, four star. We don't need those guys. Give me the three stars that run four twos, and I'm going to make a competent program. Well, we did that, and we were able to coast to five Super Bowl victories. I can only imagine a second Super Bowl MVP here for Jamarcus Russell.
perfect, man. I mean, there's plenty of other t players that we could potentially do something like this with. I mentioned at the beginning, maybe something like Vince Young. Like, one of the most talented, freaky college players of all time. And was pretty good in the NFL for a minute. But things, obviously... Didn't really work out there when all was said and done. We, we kind of indirectly already did like a Tim Tebow thing with the uh, retro rebuild of the Denver Broncos. But there's something a little bit different, obviously inspired by the Pivot Podcast with Demarcus Russell. As he does win his second Super Bowl MVP. 391 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Let's get them hoisting that trophy and we'll get out of here. We won't take up too much more of your time. I very much appreciate you guys tuning in to today's video. As always, if you like this series, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below, not only for the YouTube algorithm to help the channel out, but what other players would you like to maybe see a little bit of a career revival? Like, I mean, who haven't we done? We did indirectly Tebow with the Broncos. We've used Johnny Manziel with the Browns. So, like, those are a lot of the pop up. Vince Young could be an interesting one. That's really the only one that's coming off the top of my head right now. But feel free to let me know in the comment section below, fellas. And if it is your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. We are getting ready to ramp up here for Madden 23 season. I would love to uh, really grow the channel, get the channel to pop off. But I do appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll see you back here in the next one. Peace out. Love ya.